Uh, Mr. Berrios, uh, you've campaigned on a promise to cut patronage from the uh, assessor's office, but right now at the Board of Review, you've hired your son, your sister, two sisters-in-law, and a brother-in-law, and a daughter already works at the assessor's office. You know, after the Stroger friends and family fiasco at the county board, uh, is that a good idea? The idea is that, okay, then what you're basically saying is that Joe Berrio should get out of politics. If my, my brothers or whoever wants to come and work in government, they shouldn't be allowed to work in government. If you want to pass a law that says that if one individual is in government, then none of their friends or their relatives can work in government, then you should pass that law. Well, maybe, but if maybe, they want maybe not in, you know, in, in all of that's government, what you're saying. But, no, but in, in the specific office but, that you but, run. But still, okay, so that if I go out and get you a job, if you were related to me, I get you a job with, in a different department in Cook County. Is that not the same thing as me using my clout to get you a specific job? Am I hiding the fact that you're going to work in government? No, I guess, no I'm out front. I'm out front. That's good. Because I'm out front with The it. question is whether or not you should be exercising your clout in any respect. No. Forrest Claypool, um, your response to that? Well, I mean, I, I think anti-nepotism rules and regulations, I think, are the, are, should be the norm today. I think uh, the, the practice of putting friends and family on your own payroll in government is wrong. Uh, it's a really a throwback to an earlier era, and it needs to, needs to come to an end.